how this affects me personally is that next time when I hear something that's anti-Semitic, I will speak up. I say, no, I take it offensively, and I say, no, that's not cool. Jews standing up and combating Islamophobia, Muslims standing up and combating anti-Semitism, I believe needs to be at the very foundation of this relationship. Dialogue among religious leaders is not sufficient. The bottom line is standing up for the other. The Foundation for Ethnic Understanding urges mosques and synagogues and Muslim and Jewish organizations in North America and around the world to take part in the sixth annual Weekend of Twinning and, by doing so, to stand up for the other. No two faiths in this world are more common than Islam and Judaism. Muslims and Jews have so much in common and, and mutual concern. In the United States, we're both minority religions. We both stand on a tradition of improving the world. We need each other at crucial times. Islamophobia is just a metastasized form of, uh, you know, uh, anti-Semitism. We're not talking about two separate forms of hatred here. We're talking about two sides of the same coin. It's a disease where uh, we do not think the other one is equal to us. It can happen to any group of people, and it's ha certainly happened to the Jewish people, and it's certainly happening to Muslims now. We've got to um, preach it from the pulpits. We've got to preach it uh, in the streets and in the neighborhoods and in the communities. And we've, and we've got to challenge it wherever it comes up. No community is going to stand up and say, well, I'll defend the other, if, you, if they don't feel that the other community will defend them. It is imperative that both communities see a tangible demonstration by the other side. You can't begin developing a local relationship with the dream that it's going to make world peace in a day. But I do feel that the building of this friendship with McLean Islamic Center can help members of our community to open their minds to the point of view of the other side. I run many charities. I've been involved in many social and political and philanthropic activities. None have grown as quickly and are having as much an impact on a global scale as this dialogue that we've created between imams and rabbis. I have seen the benefit of these twinnings. Uh, they not only bring communities together, but they educate a vast amount of people about not only our uh, current collaboration, but our joint histories. Uh, it really is, it's a grassroots effort. You can create a real uh, multi-faith community. We build a common ground, not a ground of compromise, but a common ground. Join us in, in bringing about this reconciliation. As minorities, as two minorities that are vibrant minorities, especially in America, I think we can be exemplars for the world that peace is possible, coexistence is possible. And I want to encourage you to engage in the weekend of 20. I encourage you to stand up for the other. I encourage you to take part in the sixth annual weekend of 20. I urge you to take part in our sixth annual weekend of 20. I promise it'll be an enlightening experience. Once you do recognize how similar we are and that we do share this common faith as the children of Abraham, then we could journey together to that promised land of reconciliation. To learn about the Weekend of Twinning, go to www.ffeu.org.